The hepatitis B virus, HPV, is present worldwide with an estimated 360 million carriers. 360 million? That's roughly 4% of the Earth's population. Yes, almost 360 million. So, what is hepatitis? It is simply an inflammation of the liver. Heba, liver, iris, inflammation. Okay, Abdul Malik, let us get into the details of hepatitis B virus. It is transmitted by sex, blood, perinatal, causes acute and chronic infection. Viral structure, envelope, double stranded circular partial DNA. And now let us move to the life cycle of hepatitis B virus. The life cycle of hepatitis B virus starts when the virus gets inside the cell by endocytosis. First, it will uncoat and it will release its component inside the nucleus. Then, some enzymes called reverse transcriptase found inside the virus will make a partial DNA from the RNA. DNA repair enzymes then will convert the partial DNA into double-stranded DNA. The double-stranded DNA will use the cell's RNA polymerase and will be transcribed and it will give us mRNA. mRNA then will go to the ribosomes and it will be translated into copsomerase proteins. Finally, this virus can be released out of the cell. Now let's move to the pathophysiology of HBV. How HBV causes liver damage? First, HBV replicate and multiply in the hepatic cell. This multiplication doesn't lead to liver damage. It just changes the surface antigens of the hepatic cell. The immune system will recognize the cell as a foreign cell. Then, the CD8 cells will try to get rid of these affected cells. If the immune system eliminates the damage, then it's acute hepatitis and the patient will be cured after a short period of time. In case of the chronic hepatitis, they don't recover easily because some viruses are active. As a result, destruction of large number of hepatocytes will occur. This will lead to some clinical manifestation. And now, let us move to the clinical manifestation. The symptoms are varied from one person to another, depending upon whether it's an acute or a chronic infection. And it is also related to the type of the virus, the age of the patient, the general health, and the immune status of the patient. Flu-like symptoms such as fever and headache may appear. Also, hepatomegaly, which is basically an enlargement of the liver due to the inflammation. Accumulation of hepatotoxic lead to leakage to the circulation and go through CNS. There is an area in CNS called chemotrigger zone, which is sensitive to this toxic and will activate emetic center, which will activate DIT causing vomiting, nausea, and even diarrhea, and ultimately lead to dehydration. Developing jaundice, which is characterized by the yellowing of the skin and whiteness of the eyes, it is associated with a condition known as hyperpilorubinemia, which is a highly increased levels of pilorubin in blood. It is also explained the presence of dark urine. And now let us move to the stages of hepatitis B virus. There are two stages of hepatitis B virus, the acute stage and the chronic stage. For the acute stage, it will last for less than six months. The immune system here is capable of clearing the body of hepatitis B virus, and complete recovery within a few months may be possible. However, many patients with acute hepatitis B virus develop chronic infection. Chronic hepatitis B infection lasts 6 months or longer. Immune system can't fight the infection. Chronic hepatitis B infection may last a lifetime. And now let us move to the complications. If the infection wasn't treated or controlled, approximately one third of the people will get chronic active hepatitis. 
and this will lead to liver scarring, cirrhosis, liver failure, and primary hepatocellular carcinoma. So now, let's move to diagnosis. Initial diagnosis of HPV is based on the clinical symptoms and the presence of liver enzymes in the blood. So, we can diagnose HPV by symptoms, serology, and BCR. And now, let's move to the treatment. Hepatitis B virus immunoglobin can be taken, antiviral drugs, and hepatic transplantation is also possible. And lastly, for the prevention, hepatitis B virus vaccine can be taken to prevent the infection and also hepatitis B immunoglobin.